Hello, Electrology Enthusiasts, and welcome back to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore, why India uses 50 Hz supply and not 60 Hz. It's a question that has intrigued many, and we're here to shed some light on this electrical mystery. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our electrifying content. To understand why India uses 50 Hz instead of 60 Hz, we first need to grasp the concept of electrical frequency. Frequency refers to the number of cycles a current completes in one second. In the case of electricity, this cycle is known as the Hertz. Worldwide, two main frequencies are in use 50 Hz and 60 Hz. The historical background of why India uses a 50 Hz frequency in its electrical power system is rooted in a combination of factors that date back to the early 20th century when India was under British colonial rule. During the British rule, they introduced and developed the electric power system in India. At the time, the British electrical system operated at 50 Hz, which was in line with the European standard. Europe had already established a 50 Hz standard for electrical power generation and distribution. This standard was influenced by factors such as the efficiency of transformers and the practicality of power transmission at this frequency. By the time India gained independence in 1947, it had a substantial electrical infrastructure already in place, which operated at 50 Hz. Changing the frequency would have required a massive and costly overhaul of the entire electrical grid. India also needed to consider international compatibility. Many of India's neighboring countries, as well as trading partners, used the 50 Hz standard. Maintaining a consistent frequency made it easier to exchange electrical equipment and power with these countries. The technology available at the time was more suited to 50 Hz power generation and distribution. Transformers, motors, and other electrical equipment were optimized for this frequency. Changing to 60 Hz would have required significant investments in new technology and infrastructure. Changing the frequency would have come with substantial costs, including replacing or retrofitting transformers and power plants. At the time of India's independence, the country was facing numerous economic challenges, and such a transition was not feasible. India's choice of 50 Hz was also influenced by the need for a stable and reliable electrical supply. The 50 Hz frequency was well suited to the Indian context and the requirements of various industries and sectors. In North America, countries like the United States and Canada chose a 60 Hz frequency. This decision was influenced by the fact that they had abundant natural resources, including copper for wiring, which made it easier to transmit electricity at higher frequencies. On the other hand, Europe, and eventually India, adopted the 50 Hz frequency. The choice of 50 Hz was largely due to the fact that Europe had already developed a substantial electrical infrastructure, and it made sense to stick with the existing standard when expanding electrical networks. Another critical factor was the technology of the time. Transformers, which are used extensively in electrical distribution, were more efficient and cost-effective at 50 Hz in the early 20th century. This influenced India's decision to opt for 50 Hz. Changing the frequency of an established electrical grid is a massive undertaking. For a country like India with a vast and complex power network, transitioning to 60 Hz would be extremely challenging and costly. It would require replacing or retrofitting countless transformers and other equipment. While India uses 50 Hz domestically, it's important to note that many modern electronic devices, especially those with power supplies that can handle both frequencies, can still operate in India. However, for some specialized equipment, frequency compatibility can be an issue. In conclusion, the choice of electrical frequency, whether it's 50 Hz or 60 Hz, is deeply rooted in historical, technological, and economic factors. India continues to use 50 Hz due to its existing infrastructure and the challenges associated with changing frequencies. 
I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with your fellow electrology enthusiasts. Also, comment down below if you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our electrifying content. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep exploring the fascinating world of electrology. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.